please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sublimating my first skinny tumbler. It's 20 ounces and I'm using this beautiful picture here. OMG, she is the bomb.com. She's gorgeous and she's popping. So yes, let's get into it. This is what I'm using today to do my first skinny tumbler. I am beyond excited. Um, I have, of course, my laptop. I'm going to be using this because I um, have to print it out in silhouette. I have a thermometer. I got that from Amazon. Painter's tape. I actually got that from the Dollar Tree. I want to measure my tumbler just to make sure. So I have my measuring tape, scissors, because you always need scissors my heat tape and i'm ready to go so i'm trying to pick with design oh duh <laughs> my oyster is extra large um convection oven and it's on 400 it's blinking so it looks weird but it's on 400 turbo 400 turbo convection and i'm just letting it warm up i'm trying to figure out what image i want to use first so that's what i'm trying to figure out but these are my supplies i'm so excited as soon as i figure it out i'm just excited i don't know as soon as i figure it out i'm making 500 million thousand of these tumblers because i love them <laughs> but anywho yep so here are the supplies Let's get ready to run. Oh, safety first, so we can't forget my heat gloves. And I got these from Amazon as well. And like I always say, I wish they were pink, more girly, because clearly I love pink. Yep, gotta be safe. Okay, so what I'm about to do is take the top off. And y'all already know. Uh oh. This is my first time doing this. And so I'm going to go ahead and measure. The width. So this one is a tapered one. So taper meaning it goes in. So I'm going to measure the top and I'm going to measure the bottom. So the top is about probably 9.25. And then the bottom is eight, <clears throat> excuse me. And the bottom is 8.5. So 8.5, 9.25, okay? So now I'm going to set up the measurements for the printout. Oh, and of course we have to get the height. Silly me. And the height is about eight inches. Okay. So now I have to set it up in the computer okay so here is our pretty little image inside of silhouette studio now here was an issue for me um i printed out the template i got this from etsy but i had to rearrange the inches a few times now you saw me measure it but I had to measure it bigger. I don't know what that was about. So 8.152 was perfect for this particular tumbler. But you know I had measured it around like 8.5 at the bottom and about 9.25 at the top. Well, I had to print it out at 10.569 inches. And it literally was like perfect. You'll see when I um, go ahead and tape it up. But I was confused as to why the inches at the bottom. If anyone knows why the inches have to be more than what 
the actual tumbler with is you can share it because honestly i don't know but i just noticed that's what i had to do so you may want to practice on maybe regular printer paper before you use the a sub so that you can make sure you don't waste papers like i did because i had to try it like three i think the fourth time was the perfect time when i found out the 10.569 was the perfect width for it so to save you some time you may want to um, print out on copy paper or if anyone has any type of clues or any reasons why if you could help me go ahead and put it in the comments so you can help all of us because I don't know why but I love this image and later on I think I'm gonna put like uh, um, some names or my name or a code or something on her shirt because it seems like something needs to be there a pitch something but anywho yep so I'm gonna go ahead and um print this out okay my image is printed out and i can already tell these colors are going to pop you can once you do this for a while you can tell like when it's gonna pop these are going to pop i can already tell all right so i'm gonna cut around here and um get to going but oh this is gonna be so pretty look at her jeans oh yeah Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut around the sides, get as close as I possible, try to make it as neat as possible. I wipe the little um, tumbler off to make sure that it's neat and there, there's no lint or anything on there. And then now I'm trying to get this seam together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tape on one side and then I'm going to you try to get as tight as possible. So I'm going to put the tape on one side and then I'm going to pull it over to the other side because you want it to be tight. If you know anything about um, mugs or tumblers or anything with sublimation, you want it to be tight. The tighter it is, the better it'll be able to actually adhere to whatever surface is trying to adhere to. So the tighter it is to the tumbler, the tighter the ink will be able to transmit itself. It'll be able to adhere really nice and then the colors can pop like they're supposed to. So I'm going slow here. You see, I've figured out how to speed it up even faster. Um, but I'm trying to make sure it's as neat as possible so that seam could be neat. I'm a perfectionist, so I take things really, really serious. And I'm just pulling it over. So as you see, I put it on one side and then I pull it over, try to make it tight. And then I started going from the top because I want to make sure that it's tight at the top and the bottom. So then I start working my way to the middle. This is something I just did. I didn't get this from anybody. It just seems to work for me. Um, so I like it. It seems to work really, really well. And it seam looks really good. And then I put it from around the edges. So also, I don't know, it was kind of going fast. After I put them from side to side, I put one long, you see that long seam down? I put it that way. And later on, that's going to be helpful because that actually helps um, later on when I'm pulling it out. And I take the tape off. That's what I meant. Okay, so I'm just showing you me turning it, opening up, turning it, um, making sure that I put it in there for six minutes. I turned it every two minutes. And I'm putting on my heat glove and I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So I'm taking it off and the painter's tape, uh, it worked great. It was a little bit sticky as you can see. So I um, once it cooled down a little bit, I just started taking it off with my fingers. I didn't burn myself or anything, but I can see the, oh, there we go. Whoop, whoop. Wait a minute, let's rewind that. Here we go, moment of truth. I see what it's going to look like. Because I can see the colors coming through the paper. That's how you know it did it good. Mm. Wee! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It did such a good job. Like, this is my first tumbler. Look how pretty it is. I'm in love. I am absolutely positively in love love look at that detail look at the seam the seam is amazing oh my goodness yes i'm showing my friend right now because she's on facetime so i'm showing her and i'm making sure i'm explaining to her the seam and all of that so i'm going over <laughs> the details with her but 
look how pretty that is this this is absolutely gorgeous i love it it was perfect on the bottom on the top that measurement was perfect i'm just um rubbing any residue of the tape um on there i'm wiping it off it turned out i'm 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 in love these colors are popping everything looks really really good yay all right so there we go that's how you do the first one i want to show you um i did a different design and each design is different so if you get a different template look i'm excited <laughs> if you get a different template you want to be careful with printing out because it will be different so you're going to see that later but yep there we go and i'm just wiping it off making sure it's nice and nice and shiny and pretty To make sure that you get it all around the edges and tape that down so i did i was able to get it all the way to the top the top and the bottom it, it this is amazing for the first time ever honestly i don't really see any like flaws or anything on there so yep she's too cute and then i was, I was saying i was going to put something on the top on her shirt like my name or a logo or a picture or something just to add something else but yep, let's put the top on there. It comes with the straw too. I don't have a video of the straw. But yep, and now there we go. We're done. That is the first tumbler sublimating. And I am in love with it. I absolutely love everything about it. And I cannot wait to make more of them. So if you want to stick around to see the next design, um, go right ahead because we're going to do the next design. I also got this from so Etsy. This one, and this I'm is the love, design. I'm Act love, like a lady. Think like again. a boss. It's super duper pretty so and popping. I see the measurements there. Now, this is what I was talking um, about. The measurements were actually different. Because um, like when I used like this, this was like way too big. And I have, have to cut the edges off. Now, when before... Um, I had to, I told you three times it wasn't long enough. So I had to actually cut the edges off. So this should have been smaller. So I almost wonder if that was an error on the template. Because if I'm going to try to do this one again with the exact measurements. And I bet you it's probably going to work. I think that other one, the popping girl, I think it was something off with the template. And I bet you if I do this one with the exact measurements, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to try it again because I cut it off for this one. But I'm going to try it again with the exact measurements of the cup and see. So now I'm hurrying up and getting everything off of there so I can take it out. I'm not going um, step by step like how I did before. You guys saw how I taped it up. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And we're going to see how this one turned out. Okay, so it actually turned out really, really good. However, when I was putting the tape around, I felt like a little bubble. And that little mark on the side, that's where the bubble kind of did. So make sure if you feel any bubble, if the paper isn't tight enough. Because remember, it was too big, so I had to cut it. So that mark right there is because it was the bubble. So make sure that if you feel a bubble, you're going to have... That's my daughter's hand. She was... We were talking. If you feel something off... You're going to have to make sure that you take it off and then tighten it up. So that's what happens when it's loose, when it's like loose air. It's okay because I'm going to keep this one because it's not like horribly, you know, messed up. But you want to be careful that there are not any bubbles. It's tight. It's perfect. Now, you see how it's a little bit more glue on here. I'm going to get something. I went and got this. And this is actually, it worked really, really good. It was, um goo gone so i got this from the dollar tree and i put a little bit on like a paper towel and then where that excess tape was i wiped it off it took a little bit um of it took all of the tape off easily and it did not mess the image up i could see a real little bit of ink but it didn't mess the image up it was like probably just a top a little bit of the top layer but it did not mess it up at all so i suggest that you have some goo gun especially if you're going to be using that tape the taping method because you know they have other methods the shrink wrap all of that but i use the tape method so 
yeah, it took it literally all off. And it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty it is. But look at that. It turned out really good. So this is my second tumbler. And I know I cannot have any, any air in there. So, yep, that's it. And see, I put a close-up of it. See, that's where it actually left that uh, air. So it's like steam or something on there. So you want to make sure that you don't let that happen to you. And the seam is pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. It's decent. I don't think there's anything wrong with the seam on there. But yeah. So there we go. That was my tutorial on how to make a tumbler. I used the taping method. Um, I received the painter's tape from Dollar Tree. Most of my items were for, from Amazon or Etsy for the images. Um, uh, uh, this this girl is so popping. Oh, so cute. I'm actually with the... Remember I said I had extras um, because I had messed up. I'm actually going to put a shirt for me and my daughter with her on it since I printed it out and it was too small. So it'll be perfect for that. We don't waste... We try not to waste anything around here. But yeah, she's amazing. I love her. Yep. That's all she wrote. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any comments, if you have any tips, please comment below. Somebody could use it. I could use it. Somebody watching it could use it. Let's share and let's make this a really, really fun um, channel to where we're all growing and learning together. Um, yep. And that's about it. So that's all she wrote. Peace. You see she threw up the piece in. Yep. There we go. Peace out, guys. Please make sure you share this. If you and some of your girlfriends are learning this together, share it. Pass it on. Um, like, share, subscribe. Give me some comments. What's some things that you guys would like for me to go over and do? I'm sorry. I'm just obsessed with these. So I have like 50 pictures of them. <laughs> I know I'm doing the most. But we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Act like a lady. Think like a boss. There we go. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.